Hello Beauty News family! Welcome to Beauty News. This is the November edition. We're going to be talking about new release beauty products. We do have some updates where we're going to pepper them in mm -hmm. to the episode. Before we get started, housekeeping. So last time we chat to you guys, we mentioned that um, nominations were open for the Beauty News Awards and the time has come to now vote on the short list of nominees for each category. So there will be a link again in the description box. Click on that link and you can go and vote. Voting is secret and you can only vote once. So think long and hard before mm -hmm. you select your winners for the and, categories. Yeah, and I was looking at the uh, people, the suggestions for the categories. There's some good ones. Mm -hmm. There's some good mm -hmm. ones this year. So I'm looking forward yep. to filming that and seeing what people vote on. What the results are. Mm -hmm. It's always fun. So also, elephant in the room. We're not back in lockdown. We're just filming no, we're very not. late at night because... Yes. I am packing and moving and doing a lot of like DIY stuff. So um, yeah. we're filming late at night to fit everything in. We're just in. filming, yeah, remotely. Yeah. Um, all right. So let's start. We need to start with two new brands that mm -hmm. have launched. We're going to start with Rem Beauty, which mm -hmm. is from Ariana Grande, or I don't know. I suppose it's actually REM Beauty because it's. R dot E dot M. I hate their font. I don't look. I'm sorry if you're an Ariana fan and you're about to get upset, but I don't like the font and I don't yeah. like the look of the products. This reminds me of Kiko. Yes. And I just don't. I'm not into it's it. It's an expensive Kiko Milano for sure. Yeah. The range that she's launched is okay. Eyeshadow palettes, uh, lashes, two types of mascaras. Eyeliner markers, liquid eyeshadows, highlighter toppers, matte lipsticks, lip stains, plumping lip, lip glosses, and coal eyeliners. So it's mm. it's pretty basic. Um, there's nothing here that jumps out as being, wow, this is something I need to have. But makeup doesn't do that for me these days because I've seen so much of it. Is this the next what Fenty? You... I would say probably not, but <laughs> no. we'll, we'll see. No, sorry. What do you think of the lip stain markers? I feel like we've seen them before back in the very early 90s and they were rubbish. Yes. Look, I'm a big fan of a lip stain. I will mm. like wear them until I die, but that's my probably least favorite form of lip stain. And I'll tell you why. It's because I don't feel like... Anything that, any product that is anywhere near anything wet should be in a marker form because if there's mm. any moisture that gets on it, it always sort of like desaturates the tip. And mm -hmm. unless it's super, 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 like there's so much pigment in the pen, they just dry out so quickly and they, yeah. are, like they might be really cool when you first use them. But then mm. give it a couple of weeks of use and it will be like scratching, trying to get some lip stain on your lips. I'm just never a yeah. fan. Um, so I like the idea that lip stains are coming back um, in a big way. But this is mm. this is my least favorite form. So I'm not super yeah. impressed. Um, but there you go. The packaging looks, again, very spacey, very 90s, yeah. early 2000s spacey. Next up, we have a brand from Harry Styles. Uh, now, this is called Pleasing. Um, and I feel like this went under the radar because, like, we just didn't know about it until it was launched, here, yeah. Basically. But supposedly it made a big impact. I heard on the radio that mm -hmm. um, search results for, like, men's makeup went up by, like, 400% since. Wow. It launched. So not that I think that's heaps because I'm sure searching for men's makeup isn't the biggest search term in the world. Um, but yeah. it clearly like it's resonating with an audience. So it's making yeah. it's making a mark. Yeah. So he's la launched with the pearlescent illuminating serum. This is a serum with the little beads in it when you squeeze it out of the out of the bottle or pump it out of the bottle at the little pearls break. There's a pleasing pen, 
which um, contains two potent serums that are applied with like a cooling roller that's for the eyes and lips it looks like um, and then we have the perfect polish set so this contains four nail polishes um, and there's also the perfect pearl and pearly tops that are available individually and they are just one is a uh, Pearlized white with a glossy finish and the other is a clear with a subtle iridescent and a matte finish. Yeah, so, look, I'm yeah. not a huge fan of this. I find the price point is very expensive for what it is. I mm. also question, this is definitely a beauty brand. There's nail polish and there's skincare. But yeah. like the fact that people were saying that the search results for men's makeup went, out, went up, there's no... Mm -hmm makeup here there's nail polish in the skincare um yeah i think aesthetically it looks cool the bottles are, look really awesome i could see yeah. this coming from like hermes or something like that it looks really yeah. interesting but in terms of what the products are i could not care less this seems so boring no, and i have heard a few people say like okay this is very on point for harry styles cool I'm not a One Direction fan. I'm too old. I'm sure if I was 10 years younger, I would have loved One Direction. I am I am mm -hmm. for the boy bands, so I'm not bagging boy bands. I love them. But I'm just like Backstreet Boys era, so I'm old. Um, yes, this does fit, but mm. from what I've heard from a lot of other people, they're saying that, um, you know, fashion would make more sense and this sort of following on from a fashion brand rather than starting out. As a beauty yeah. brand, I feel like this seems a little bit missed opportunity. Not as yeah. bad as like House Labs with Lady Gaga. That was a real disappointment. Mm. This just seems a little bit like he's trying to get his cash from the beauty community as well, which that's I guess. What, that's what yeah. I feel too. Yeah. Um, I was just looking at the pleasing pen. So it's a eye gel and a matte lip oil. How? <sighs> How is it matte? Yeah. Like yeah, yeah. What's in it? Is it like a silicon? Yeah. I I found an image of it being applied on the pleasing website. Um I mean it doesn't look matte, it just doesn't look overly glossy. So I I mean it's you know, they've got a male model um demonstrating it. So it it's designed for guys who want to look after themselves, which is fine, I don't mind, but I think calling a, a matte lip gloss is a bit... A matte lip oil, It's an oil, oxymoron. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Oh, sorry. Yeah, matte lip oil. It's a bit of an oxymoron. But maybe it's good. I don't know. It's got marshmallow to replenish the lips. So there you go. Delicious. All right. While we're talking about sort of new brands, this is not actually a new brand, but it's a new category from an existing brand. So Bondi Sands is pretty much Australia's most popular... Uh, tanning range and they do have body products like body scrubs and whatnot uh, they've launched quite an extensive skincare range um, mm. so it's their everyday skincare range there's a cleanser vitamin a serum vitamin b3 serum vitamin c serum hyaluron hyaluronic acid all in one serum that sounds like it's made the other ones redundant, but it is what it yeah, is. Yeah, I know. Uh, there's a chemical exfoliant um, and vitamin C eye cream, whipped moisturizer, SPF 50 moisturizer, night moisturizer, and clay mask. So they've it's pretty much everything you need. Yeah, almost it is. Or there's no there's no toner in there, but I don't use toner, so it's everything I need in there. Yeah. So that's that's out. That's interesting. Yeah, I I don't like the packaging. Yeah, it, it looks like really me, old school sunscreen. Yeah, and it, I don't know, to me, it, I feel like when I look at Bondi Sands, I'm not a self-tanner, right? So mm. I look at Bondi Sands and I'm like, I'm not going to buy it. But also I look at their packaging and I think that looks nice. It looks inviting. If I was going to fake tan, I would be interested in that brand simply based on the way their products look. But when I look at this, this does not make me want to buy their skincare. 
this looks like something that would be nine ninety five at Priceline full price. And yeah, and I don't I, think this yeah. is. Yeah, I do no. like that they have different <laughs> colors for different. I like the um, colors. Products yeah, because I feel like that is handy uh, when mm -hmm. you do use quite a lot of products. Um, I'm keen to try it. I think some of these could be really nice. To be honest, yeah, the body products be. were really lovely in that mm. light blue packaging and it's yeah. like. It's coconut. I usually hate coconut, but that one was really nice. But so I have faith that, that yeah. they probably put a lot of effort into this. So mm. there we go. All right, let's get on to new stuff. We are breaking down this episode into new stuff, holiday, and collabs. We're putting collabs last because I'm sick of them. I'm sick of we're, them. And if this so runs too long and we're here until midnight, we can cut that shit out. Yeah, um, we can but say I wanna, no more. You've done yeah, I want to give love to the things that are like just new just releases yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm digging those normal, at the moment normal releases normal stuff normal stuff all right so it looks like we're actually starting with ColourPop. damn it <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> i'm sorry it wasn't like our intention to do that <laughs> um but there's so much here uh but we're gonna talk about a couple of things that stand out the quartz collection is looking really pretty it's a cool toned nine pan palette there's some lippy sticks some of their uh, cream gel liner pots, and also their um, pressed glitter shadows in single pans that come in little compacts. And I think that's great. That's good. I actually think it's a really good way to offer those products to people who like them mm -hmm. without actually putting them in the palettes and turning a lot of people off. I personally think this palette is really, really beautiful. I like I this whole love, collection. Yeah. I, I mean, the collection is nice. The palette in particular and the sparkly yeah. eyeshadows because it's Christmas and I love a sparkly eyeshadow. Look, I um, always love but, a sparkly eyeshadow. That's the only yeah. thing I'm wearing today in my eyes is sparkly eyeshadow Sparkle, and I'm living yeah. my best life. Mm -hmm. I also like the gel eyeliners. Now, these can be a hit or miss with can, uh, yeah. the formulation, but there's mm -hmm. like a dark navy almost color and a gray. And I think yep. they're really cool colors that you can wear sort of every day um yep. but it's a twist on like your basic black the mm. thing that gets me though the press glitters when they when they're swatched they look so similar they all look the same um, i know but i do want to give them kudos um releasing them separate because i feel mm -hmm. like that's how glitter eyeshadows probably should be um yeah. not just so you don't alienate other people who don't like them in palettes but also you reach for them as like a little special addition to yep. your eyeshadow and I feel like they're the they're the only single eyeshadows I keep um mm -hmm. I've been through the stage of buying single eye eyeshadows and I realize I don't reach for the basic ones I reach for the pretty ones to Special add to one. a basic yep. sort of look so um they're the ones that I feel like work perfectly in a single compact and so I think this mm -hmm. is smart and I'm I have to give them props for it uh we also have this guy which is the Roaring Hearts collection this is really pretty, pretty as well. Um, it's Art Deco inspired, so it's inspired by the 1920s. And I think that kind of sums up what this collection is in a nutshell. It's mm -hmm. very Roaring Twenties themed. Uh, there's 10 Pan Roaring Hearts palette. There's two new Super Shock Shadow duos. So you buy them as a duo and there's... There's two of them with two in each pack. Um, there's some new Fresh Kiss lip lacquers. There's eight of those. Uh, new Graphics Ink Liner. So these are liquid liners in um, tubes that you twist out with a brush. So instead of the brush applicator or the pot, they've it got might three. Be, it might be foam. Oh, the yeah. foam applicator? Yeah, okay, it might be might foam, be foam, but yeah. I do like this. Like, I yeah, love right, eyeliners are. that are like this because when you're dipping the, like, the applicator into the well, you get mm -hmm. so much more longevity out of the product. You do. I feel like they don't, do, yeah. they take forever to use up or dry out. Um, mm -hmm. And the colors are pretty. There's a gold, a black, and what looks like a pinky, rose goldy. Like rose one. gold. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is a pretty collection. I would wear this palette any day of the week. Um, mm. Yeah, it's basic. And I haven't tried these lip products, but they're pumping them out. They're in yeah, like they every are. single collection. So I'm, hopefully yeah. they're actually good. Um, yeah, but yeah, there's yeah. other collections as well. But those are the ones that I think were sort of 
they stood uh, out that I would possibly buy something from, which is why we're talking mm-hmm. about them. But there's also collabs and holiday stuff that we'll be talking about in the yes. next categories as well. All right, the next release I want to talk about is Give Me Glow Cosmetics. They've released what I would think, what I would say is probably the most unique palette of this episode. It's the Bad Witch Club Season Fall palette. Um, so this is releasing on Black Friday. It's going to be fifty four US dollars, and it's made, it's like witch themed. But there's like mm. peaches. Really like electric blues, periwinkles, purples, greens. I just feel like even though I wouldn't use this, I think it looks cool and I feel like they've chosen colours really well. Um, I so, agree. And I, I love the name, like, shh, the craft is on. Fair mm. comment. That is a fair yeah. statement to make. The craft is a great movie and that colour looks awesome. So yeah. I just like the look of this. Again, I wouldn't I... buy it, but this is what makes me appreciate indie makeup. Yeah, I absolutely adore that, like, bright coral shade. And mm-hmm. those purples are divine. Even paired with, like, the blues and the greens, I really like them. I would never in a 100,000 million years wear them. But, well, that's a lie. I would wear them once, and then I would <laughs> never touch it again. <laughs> but you would enjoy swatching it and be like... I would. Yeah, and pretty. looking at yeah. it and I'd go, oh, that's so pretty. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I would do the same. Absolutely. I would do the same. All right, this is also, this is actually something that I want. Mm-hmm. This, is, this is really nice. This is from Lethal Cosmetics. They've, they've done a thing that I think a lot of people will just freak right the fuck out about. This is a new multi chrome eyeshadow palette. So it's a nine pan multi chrome palette and it's launching. At midnight on Black Friday, November 26th. So I'm not sure. Are these all existing shades from their range and they've just put them in a palette? No, they're all new shades and you can buy them individually or in the palette. As far as I'm aware. Yeah, I brand mean, new collection of multi-chrome shadows launching midnight, November 26th. Yeah, so it's it's something that we haven't pretty. seen it's really pretty and I like it. Again, I would wear it once, but I would enjoy that once. Yeah, so, and I think you know. um, they've done a really good at cap- uh, uh, job at capturing the shift of them. They um, have, There's probably yes. like, you know, there's probably like three or four of them that I'm like, I really want them. Um, yeah. But I think this is a great addition to the line because I feel like they're very good at bringing out a variety of different colours. But in terms Mm -hmm. of different finishes, they don't usually change it up too much. They did actually have one multi-chrome out in a palette uh, recently. So this is the Berlin 89 collection. And there was one multi-chrome shade there. So we have seen a multi-chrome from them. But I'm just Mm -hmm. glad that they're sort of padding it out because they're known for their sort of build your own palettes. And I feel like texture is such an important thing. If you do have the same finish... Yeah. I don't care how many shades of fucking green you have. If it's all the same finish or two finishes. It all looks the same. It all looks the same at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad they're doing this. I think it looks cool. Before we continue with this week's episode, we do have some sponsors. Anna Luisa create beautiful jewelry with a focus on being environmentally aware. They are carbon neutral, use recycled materials whenever possible and create limited batches to help prevent excessive waste. Anna Luisa has a great variety of pieces ranging from earrings, rings, necklaces and bracelets bracelets, plus they have fine jewellery offerings as well. Anna Luisa release new collections every Friday with pieces starting at just $39 and they offer a 365 day warranty on all pieces. I really love my Anna Luisa pieces. I love being able to mix and match my rings and layer my necklaces. Their range is awesome and there's always something new that I have my eye on. If you're looking to treat yourself or your loved ones for the holidays but don't want to break the bank, you can be confident that Anna Luisa's quality is really good. I absolutely recommend checking out Anna Luisa at shop.analuisa.com slash beauty news. That's A-N-A-L-U-I-S-A dot com slash beauty news. I love them. Their pieces start at just $39 and they're currently running the biggest sale of the year. You can get 60% off your second item if you go to shop.analuisa dot com slash beauty news. Again, that's A-N-A-L-U-I-S-A dot com slash 
beauty news. There is no one size fits all solution when it comes to hair care. A product that works wonders for curls might make straight hair limp and greasy and I can totally relate to that. My hair has gone through some major changes over the last 12 months and that's where a personalized routine like Pros can help. Pros makes custom hair care that's effective because it's personal. Using natural ingredients with proven results, Pros customizes every product in your routine from shampoo to supplements. First, Pros starts by asking about you as a person with their in-depth consultation. Pros ask me really unexpected things like my workout habits and even my postcode to determine environmental stresses. Next, Pros analyzed all my answers and determined what unique blend of ingredients should be in every product of my custom routine. Together, Pros gets all your hair goals covered. What I really love about Pros is how in-depth the consultation is. They cover all the bases, even things that you might not consider important or even relevant to your hair health. When I was answering questions about my diet, I knew Pros was serious about really tailoring the routine to the individual. And as a carbon neutral certified B Corp, Pros is an industry leader in clean and responsible beauty. All their ingredients are sustainably sourced, ethically gathered and cruelty free. They're also the first custom beauty brand to go carbon neutral. Plus, if you're not 100% positive that Pros is the best hair care you've had, they will take the products back, no questions asked. Pros is a healthy hair regime with your name all over it. Take your free in-depth hair consultation and get 15% off your first order. Go to pros.com slash beauty. That's P-R-O-S-E dot com slash beauty for your free in-depth hair consultation and 15% off. So we have a new release from Luna Beauty. This is the Outer Dimension Face Palette. It is a contouring palette. Let's just call it a contouring palette. So this contains 10 shades. There's Eight on the outside which are kind of like your bronzing shades and then on the inside you've got um, your darkest contouring shade and a white highlighting powder there's also three lip glosses one liquid lipstick and a brush set I think the palette looks really fucking creepy and I don't like it and also I don't really like these sort of palettes for consumer makeup I, like I don't it only works it. Yeah, I don't get it either. It only works in a makeup artist kit and yeah, I, do, I still don't like it. Yeah, it's I not wouldn't be impressed if a makeup artist pulled this out to use it on my face. <laughs> like I know, I, I, hear me out. I know Manny makes nice formula products. I've tried them and I like them. But when I'm seeing a professional to have a professional job done, this is not what I want to see come out of a makeup kit. I'd be like, put that moon away and <laughs> go get yourself a proper contour kit. And it'd be like, and did you get your cosmetics uh, certificate from Instagram? Yeah, um, exactly. I, my issue with this, like I saw there was a lot of backlash about this not oh, being that's versatile right. enough. And yeah. I, I do understand that this doesn't go deep enough Um in terms of the spectrum of everyone's skin tones. Mm -hmm. But I just never understand, and I can't, I don't think I'll ever understand why you need to buy one face palette for your one face that contains 70 shades of face colour. I nobody, don't, this makes no sense to this. me. This no. does not make any sense to me whatsoever. This should not be one purchase. This should be broken up in maybe quads, like like four sections. Like, and you can buy a really light contouring touring trio, uh, mm -hmm. medium one, a deep one, a dark one. Like, I don't yeah. understand why one person needs this. They How don't. many faces are you contouring at the start of the day? I don't, I don't get this. I mm. think yes, if this was a makeup artist brand. Maybe, but he's not he's not a makeup artist brand and he'll like makeup artists might stock certain items of his in their kit. I know his lip products are really beautiful. Yeah. But, but that's a lip product. But that's a lip product. This yeah. and also it's not even refillable. So if you did love it in your kit and you love the formula, if you use it up, you can't 
get it again. Like it doesn't mm-hmm. make any sense to me. I just can yeah. never, I can never understand these. You would burn through that contour powder before you burnt through any of the others. Yeah. In a, well, like in a professional kit. I can absolutely. tell you right now. I've done it before. Like, yeah. and if you can't replace that, then that means you ha- then have to carry around that whole big fucking chunky palette, which I can tell you now, you don't want to do that when you're a makeup artist carrying around 40 kilos of makeup. Mm. Plus, you have to now carry an extra contouring shade. No. And also, makeup artists, and this is what this is missing out as well. I feel like they're delving into it with the sort of white and deep shade. Yeah. Makeup artists will mix colors. They will go, okay, I see your undertones. I see what skin tone you have. And I will dip the contour and mix it with a red shade or mix it with whatever to suit your skin. You Mm -hmm. don't need 50 shades of contour. Like a makeup artist might only have a handful and they know how to use color theory to make it work on everyone. So this in no market does this make sense. So I do think the backlash about the shade range is warranted, but I also think that it's sort of missing the point that this shouldn't even be a thing to begin with. There yeah. should be no one contour palette that serves yeah, all I agree. skin tones ever. It doesn't It doesn't need to be yeah. a thing. Not so, from a yeah. consumer brand. Like this no. isn't made for the single consumer. This isn't made for or Luna Beauty, you know, like the products, they're not targeted at makeup. I mean, maybe he is trying to now, but I don't think that this is, this yeah. is not it. The only, is not it. The only small segment of society that I can understand using this and getting good use out of it is if you're in like high school and you do all your friends makeup for like the prom. Yeah. 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 Then maybe Fair. then this will actually be helpful. Just make sure you sanitize your makeup properly yeah. and your brushes. We're in a bloody please. pandemic. Don't do that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> the OHS training inside me is having a conniption right now. Please sanitize <laughs> your makeup if you share it with others. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay, we need to update something that we spoke about a little while ago. It's from Menagerie. These are the Arthurine highlighters now we i think we thought maybe this was going to be a palette did we think that or is that just what i thought um i def no i think we saw it originally um amongst the single blushes and we thought it was going to be oh, a highlighter. oh that's right or okay did we yeah, see it yeah. Think it was going to be a highlighter palette i'm not sure Whatever. i'm not sure i yeah. kind of vibed maybe it would be a highlighter palette but i think that's just because i in my head, I was picturing it bigger than it actually was. Yeah, but, because we've seen you know, the bigger blush palettes. Yes. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, these are single highlights. There's two. You've got Aurora Australis, which is a pink, and Winter Solstice, which is a yellow. These are very generic, and I've got to say, completely underwhelming. Seen it a hundred times. Own it like fifty times. Not even exaggerating. Yeah, look, I think it's cute. I think the the packaging, like we said I last love time, the packaging. is super cute. I like mm-hmm. that there's Aurora Australis. It hits home. Um, <laughs> but I don't need a pink or yellow highlighter to save my life. So I, no. I really... This, I feel like, should have been out three years ago for it to be semi-relevant. Yeah. But if you're a Menagerie fan, like, there's nothing wrong with this. This is mm. them filling a gap in their range. In their range, yeah. Yeah, I just feel like that um, if you're going to do that, I just, I look at these and I'm like, this is going to emphasize my skin texture. Like, there's no, no, to, yeah. like, nobody's business. I know. And I'm like, just bring out more flattering. Look, I, it's hard. Like, oh. I feel like indie brands, they have to go for the more unique and not the uh, more yeah. generic um, because that's what sets them apart. But at the same time, I think with highlighters, the best effect you get are the more subtle, basic ones that match your skin tone. Yeah. Because I feel like... It, and just make you fucking glow. Glow. 
Yeah. I think that is so underrated and people miss the point of what highlighters yeah. can do and why they're yeah. so awesome. Like I'm back on the highlighter bandwagon like there's no tomorrow. I'm not wearing any today because I knew I was filming and I was going to look shiny as fuck. Um, yeah. <laughs> but I'm, I love a good highlighter, but I have become very picky with what is a good highlighter yeah. and what is just highlighter for the sake of highlighter. And that's what this yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. No, I I feel you. Mm. That's how I, I view this as well. All right, Nabla, they've released mm. something that's interesting. These are the two reasons cream colour and glassy balm duo for mm. cheeks and lips. I don't know how I feel about this. Um, so essentially it's just there's four different shades available and they're duos. You get a pan of cream product and a balm that sort of matches but looks clear swatch. completely clear on the skin yeah so Which, what was the point of having them slightly different colored i am just gonna say i don't get that i yeah. honestly do not understand why in the pan they look colored when i did first see it i thought it was two blushes and then yeah when yep. i saw the swatches i thought it was a highlighter and then i was like wait it's a balm i yeah i can't get on the balm have being oily skin i can't get in the balm um bandwagon it just doesn't make any sense to anyone in my face but except not, my lip balms not if they're clear like i just why yeah. i don't see the point but also if technically a, a balm don't isn't that what people these days classify a clear otherwise it's like a cream well it's yeah textures like yeah. a cream blush is just like the same texture as a balm but not but yeah with color yeah, interesting. Uh, I mean, they're saying glassy balm. So for me, I'm like, that's a gloss. It's shiny. Yes. Whereas the, the cream colours have that more demi-matte, natural kind of skin finish. I think they look fantastic in the pans. I really like the packaging as well. I think the colour selection is really nice, but I can't get behind a clear balm. Just really quickly, because we talked about this in uh, past wine times, uh, we've seen mm -hmm. the Natasha Denona. These are the Glam Face Palettes. So these are supposed to be like all-in-one face palettes. They contain a blush, a highlighter, and then five eyeshadows, and they come in two shade varieties. Um, I like this. I want to see more of it. it. I feel like this is really getting on... Look, it's... Touching on a few things that I feel like is very of this current era, which is mm -hmm. simplifying makeup um, and possibly also delving into travel makeup um, mm -hmm. because now that the pandemic is starting to settle a little bit and borders are opening up, people are starting to travel. So I feel like this is the perfect timing for this. This is like the one and done. Besides a bronzer, this is sort of mm -hmm. like all the color you need on your face. And yeah. I like Natasha Denona formula. Their eyeshadows are sometimes good. They're sometimes average, but their cheek products are actually really beautiful. So I like. Oh, they're so good. Yeah, they're really, really nice. So <laughs> I like so this. Good. I do think it's worth the 59 US dollars um, mm -hmm. if you're going to find a color story that you're going to get a lot of use out of. And if this had a color story that I loved, I could see myself reaching for this like every day. And not yeah. and putting away all my other products. I yeah, feel yeah. like this is sort of so poignant these days where it's like this is what a lot of people want, including myself. Mm. Yeah. I really like the look of them. Um, I think the only thing that, like, I'm not a huge fan of is, like, the pink blush. It's always a pink blush yeah. in a white girl's palette. And I'm like... Yeah. Some of us fucking hate it. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually Some wearing us... legitimately an orange blush, like a, yeah. a bright orange blush today. And it doesn't... Just, like, not coral that leans pink. Yeah. Like orange. Orange. Or purple. Like, put in a mauve blush mm. that is more purple. Like, we do like variety. Pink is pretty boring. It's yeah. a dime a dozen. <laughs> Yeah, but that's where I'd like to see different, um, not only different depths of colours. I do think the highlighter in the dark face palette is probably not dark enough. Yeah. Um, but I don't like a frosty highlighter, so I like them to be sort of closer to the skin tone that they're sort of yes, targeting. Yeah. Um, 
I would like to see sort of warm versions, cool versions, mm. um, olive versions. I want to see more of this. I think this yeah. is something that could start swaying people into trying Natasha Denona when um, they're sort of big palettes and the larger face palettes are a little bit daunting. I feel like this mm. could reach a new audience and make me That's part fair. with some of my money. Okay, we have a collection here from Tarte. They are bringing back the Bloom stuff. This is the Full Bloom collection. So we have a super-sized Full Bloom Amazonian Clay palette. This has 5,000 shades in it. Not really. It's got 7, 14, 28 shades. Ugh. And they're all the same. And <laughs> then we have... Uh, the Amazonian Clay 12-Hour Blush in Bloom. We have the Full Bloom Lights Camera Lashes 4-in-1 Mascara. In new packaging. Um, oh, in new packaging, yes. Um, I, it's available I now. I can't with this. I can't with this. You I can't. can't. I can't you do can't. it. You can't. She there can't. Are, there are it's columns. I, I'm like, I like the first column. I like yeah. the third last column. There's columns mm -hmm. that I like in this. Yeah, but there is. This is a morph. This is Tarte doing a Morphe palette. Yeah, I list. Uh, I feel you. I totally understand where you're coming from with this. I look at it and I'm like, I love the colors. I love these sort of colors. Yeah, but there Not is this much so of much them. redundancy here. Like this could have been a twelve pan palette and it yeah. would have been just fine. You could even have made this. A 16 pan palette and you could have done the warms on one side and the cools on yep. the other side and you would have covered every single base plus some. I know that these are nude palettes and you can stick to the nude tones but mm. why are these all the same? Again, very texture, very the depth of colour. This doesn't go mm. dark enough. There's no dark purples here that they could have gone no. into. Um, there's no like there's beautiful a black, crimson. Though. Yeah, but is it – or is it just a dark brown? But, like, they could have gone into, like, oh, it crimson might be tones. A dark brown. They could have gone, like, stronger into sandy tones to yeah. do, like, the sunflower. They've just really, like, taken the easy way out and just they said, have. these are all our off cuts of what didn't yeah. make the cut the first time. Let's mm -hmm. just chuck them all in this palette. And I just feel like it's a missed opportunity because even though I like smaller palettes, there's still the, like – animal instinct part of me that somehow likes a good big palette when it's done yeah, well. Yeah. And no, this absolutely. could have been done well. But I think, like, the point that you're trying to get across is this is done very lacklustre. Yes. There is quite an excess of mattes in here. And, you know, if you're looking at the top row, a lot of those are just going to look the same. And but also, sorry we... if my microphone did something weird. It went down my... Clavage. Down the it, clavage. It, it, it disappeared. And I was like, wait, I've got a clip, but no microphone. It was it was down the clavage. <gasps> it's going to be down there. It's going to be like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it might be, but we're not refilming yeah. it. So if, no, it, if it sounds weird, I apologize. It's fine. It's fine. But the big thing where they fucked up with this is literally the texture of those shimmers. Those shimmers yep. are going to be so lackluster and so boring. Fucking same. They could have had like... Nude duochromes, nude metallics, nude sparkle finishes, mm -hmm. nude shimmers, nude satins. Like, yep. there are so many varieties of texture when it comes to, like, something that's and not I love it all. Matte, basically, these I days. I want it. I love I want it all. It all. Too. Like, just listen, brands, if anyone from a makeup brand is watching right now, you've done all the colours, right? We're all sick to death of everything. If you're going to try and bring back nudes, good luck to you, hun. Work on textures. Texture yeah. is where it's at now. It's the only way you're going to make people interested in a palette because you don't see it very often. No. If I actually saw this palette with a similar colour story but one row was matte one was sort of like a sheerer shimmer, like not quite mm -hmm. satin, but a sheerer shimmer. Almost then like metallics maybe a little and then glitters. Yeah. Oh, I would fucking yes. buy that in a and heartbeat. Chuck in a couple of those sheer um, duochromes like or duochrome multi ones, yeah. yeah. Fucking I'll take it. I'd take it too. I'd mm. take it in a heartbeat. I'd be like, mm -hmm. this is, this is life changing because I don't yeah. have anything like that. I know yeah. I don't. 
I have bits of that dotted here or there, but I don't have a palette that contains all of that. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Before we continue with this week's episode, we do have some more sponsors. When I watch TV, I do it for me time and I do it to kind of switch off and forget about what's going on in the real world around me. I really like my shows to be engaging and interesting and that's why I like Sundance Now because that's pretty much all they do. Sundance Now is an ad-free streaming service created by AMC Networks for people who appreciate riveting storytelling and fresh perspectives. If meaningful shows are your escape, then Sundance Now is definitely for you. Sundance Now offers the best of true crime series, dramas, and thrillers from all over the world. Their original series, Dead Places, One Lane Bridge, and The Trial in the Outback, the Lindy Chamberlain story, are sure to excite and entertain. I'm a true crime lover, so I really appreciate having a streaming service that is a bit more niche with the content that they offer. Plus, Sundance Now has a wide variety of content that I haven't actually seen on other streaming platforms before, so it feels super fresh and interesting. You can stream Sundance Now on all your favorite devices for as low as $4.99 a month. Just download the app or watch online and discover exclusive shows from around the world instantly. Start streaming your next obsession. Try Sundance Now free for 30 days by going to SundanceNow.com and use promo code BEAUTY. That's SundanceNow.com code BEAUTY for 30 days of free streaming. SundanceNow.com code BEAUTY. Can we talk about underwear for a second? No? Well, we're going to anyway. As I get older, underwear comfort becomes increasingly important. I'm so over buying cute underwear that looks great in store, but are so uncomfortable to wear. And the ones that are comfortable, well, I mean, I don't think anyone's going to be calling them hot. But now Parade is bringing you the best of both worlds. Parade is all about championing self-expression, inclusivity, and diversity. They want everyone to feel comfortable and confident. All Parade underwear is super affordable and so insanely comfortable and soft, you will forget you're even wearing them. With sizes ranging from extra small to triple extra large, Parade has something for everybody. You name a size, a style, or a color, and Parade has it. Speaking of styles, they're known for launching super fun limited edition collections from seasonal prints to more neutral shades. Parade uses recycled fabrics, biodegradable packaging, and is on the road to carbon positivity. They also donate 1% of all sales to causes that you can personally choose from, like reproductive rights, racial equality, and LGBTQ plus communities. I love the wide variety of cuts and colors available on Parade, but my favorite thing is actually their naked ranges. I know, I know, I'm sorry. I really like the nude color things, but skin tone underwear is a must for everyone at at least some stage in their life, whether you be wearing, you know, a sheer dress or something like that, or if you just really like skin toned underwear. And I'm super pleased to see that Pros has different colors for a diverse range of skin tones in their skin toned underwear. It's great. So if you're keen to update your underwear drawer, head to yourparade.com slash beauty news and use code beauty news to get 30% off your first order. That's yourparade.com slash beauty news, Y-O-U-R-P-A-R-A-D-E.com slash beauty news and use code beauty news for 30% off your first order. All right, we've seen a new... It's supposed to be a spring collection, <laughs> but it's launching around December. Who the yeah. fuck knows? Um, it's been leaked. Jared's going to flip his lid and his sister's going to get angry at people. Threatened to kill us all. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but Two Faced, we've seen the Two Femme collection. So mm. far, we've seen the Two Femme eyeshadow palette. It's got 14 shades in it. There's a butterfly blush, six hardcore lipsticks, and the Better Than Sex mascara and waterproof mascara in limited edition packaging. So again, supposed to be spring collection, somehow launching in winter in the US. I don't know what's going on, but we don't have any sort of solid details. But we've got some nice images yeah um so this palette is the same sort of format of oh, what have we seen like the clover palette no yeah the clover, what, no was the clover like this no, no this was clover. the teddy bear one yes yeah yeah the yeah teddy the B-A-R-E. sexy, sexy, yes, sexy se- teddy bear sexy teddy 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but this definitely has spring colours. It's got some pastel vibes. It's like a mint. There's like a Tiffany blue, a soft purple. Of course, there's a row of fucking pinks because it's two-faced. And there's some yeah. browns. So it's got butterflies on it. The blush is just a pink blush with... Um, Embossed. imprints on the yeah. on the pan and then they look like they've got an overspray uh that will mm. disappear and then the packaging of the better than sex mascara is butterflies and there's lipsticks that have a little heart uh in the mm-hmm. core of them with probably like a nourishing balm in there um, and they range from nudes to pinks to reds so it's nothing super exciting it's very Too faced does spring yeah i agree this isn't interesting at all. We're moving on to Viseart. So we've got two collections here. We have four four pan palettes, so four quads in different shades. And then we have um, an eight pan Petite Pro palette. So we'll talk about the Petite Pro first. Um, I'm not even going to try and pronounce it because... I'm just not. Um, but it's blue and purple and smoky. It's like Paris at night. It's, I mean, I think it's really pretty. I, I love the color story when I see it swatched, but I would never in a hundred thousand years wear it except once. Um, <laughs> and then, and then the, the quads, Again, these are really pretty. These are the standard size pans, whereas the Petite Pros are the little pans. Um, with the, the quads, there is, they're kind of color themed. So there's a blue, a red, a green, and like a gold. Golden black. Golden black, yeah. Yeah, these are limited edition. Um, yeah. and they're 25 US dollars each and available now. I think it's all available now. Um, mm. I would guess that the quads are more of the holiday release. They haven't called yeah. it specifically holiday, so we're not talking about it in the holiday section. But I feel like gold, green, red, red. and like, and uh, like the, I guess the blue is like silvery kind of. Like it's quite yeah. Christmassy. It um, is. It's festive. Yeah. But I do, I do like these. Um, there's none that jump out as must-haves, mm-hmm. but I do have to give them some props. We've been very critical of their releases lately because they're very, very redundant. Um, mm-hmm. I feel like this Paris Nighttime one is a lot more unique th- uh, compared to the things we've seen. Um, mm-hmm. And I, I can't, like they do have like dark palettes, but not quite this tone. So I feel like this is different. Yeah. Like you, it's not my my jam. Mm-hmm. I love this format. I love their quality, but I just have to give them props that this is not the same nude palette with a bit of mauve or a nude palette with a bit yes. of pink or a nude palette with a bit of peach that we've been seeing like time and time again. So um, I like these. Mm. Not going to buy them, but I do like them. Yeah, I really like them as well. And I, I look at that Petite Pro palette and I look at the colors and I'm like, that's super fucking cohesive. Like I can see how each shade would work together, not mm-hmm. like cherry picking bits and going that will work together, but not with that. And that will work mm-hmm. with that and blah, blah, blah. As a whole, this palette, it works. It's not a color story for me, but I think it's beautiful. Yeah, I agree. I would right. definitely wear that twice. Yeah, <laughs> all right guys it is time for the holiday goodies take it away cat all right we've seen some releases from by mario now these don't look very holiday but i do like them so i like them too yeah these are limited edition eyeshadow quads and they're all nude sort of easy to wear tones um, they're supposed to flatter all skin tones uh, and they're soft colors that don't smudge or crease and are water resistant. Um, it's a mix of matte, metallic, and shimmer textures. They're available now. US $30 each, Australian $42, Canadian $39, blah, 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 blah. Um, but essentially there's three palettes available. So there's one that looks like it's it's cooler toned. There's one that's a little bit more goldy toned, and there's one that's quite rich and it's quite coppery with some mm. dark brown and what looks like a black as well. But I think these are nice. Again, I'm into these sort of 
travel friendly, easy to so, wear, sort of grab one thing and you've got everything you need. I'm into that these days. Mm. Um, and I think they all look nice, especially like they've got the different um, models that they mm -hmm. demonstrate them on. And all shades look good on all of them. They do. They look nice. They're if pretty. I was to, yeah, if I was to try eyeshadows from his brand, I would try it in this format. Much better than mm -hmm. the big palettes that I don't give a shit about. Yeah, that's fair. All right, we're going to move on to our Nana Glam holiday release of 2021. It's from Shanta Kai. Um, so this is a very small holiday collection. They've reined it in. Um, but it's got some like OTT packaging, so mm -hmm. they've rained it out. Uh, there's a Pearl Lumiere highlighter, so it's a pearly highlighter balm with a lit from within glow. There's the Rouge Pearl Blush in Ecoya. This is a natural looking rosy flush with a hint of sheen. And then there is the Lumiere Eye Sheen Eyeshadow in Baroque, which is a shimmering bronzed rose the eyeshadow 75 does look very pretty. us dollars for the eyeshadow i, I want to swatch that that does look very pretty i, I wouldn't yeah. spend 75 us dollars on it though fair i own a shantikai eyeshadow which i purchased after i lost my stylishly merry because it's a stylishly merry dupe and yes it did cost me my firstborn child um but not that and much. i still have it no not that much I actually really like the look of the highlighter. Yeah. I want to swatch that. It's quite pretty. It does have like um, an image on it. It's a bird in a tree. It's pretty. Yeah. I, I think yeah. that'd be too cool tone for me, but, uh, and the Fair. blush is too pink for me. This is very, yeah, yeah, the blush is very way too pale pink. white girl collection. Oh, yeah. But, um, yeah. yeah. It, it ain't for wrong. me, but it's for some people. Yes. All right. We've seen some holiday releases from ColourPop. Now, these are the holiday vaults and they launched on the 22nd of November. Um, they also are having a big 30% off site-wide sale. Uh, I think that's to do with Black Friday. So if you want to get some savings uh go to ColourPop. Mm. but um they released look they've released these kind of things before we've seen lippy pencil vault lippy stick vault five pan palette vault now these are actually new shades so these are the i was long, gonna say have yeah, we seen these before not these because... colors yeah we've seen these these I this like format them. um but they've got um one sort of color vault and one nude vault i like, like them all i love these do I want them? No. Yes. If, no, I don't. There's too many of them in a vault. I want one. One of each. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. That's um, fair. But there's those. I there's... really like these. Yeah. I don't know what the quality is like. I haven't tried these five pan palettes. Well, I haven't. Uh, I think I actually do have a couple, but I haven't tried them. I recently tried one of their quads, which we're going to talk about next. Mm -hmm. And holy fuck. They the good? quality is awesome absolutely oh. awesome it's a beautiful warm little nude quad and i was shocked when i used it i was like wow this is not what i was expecting from ColourPop. they were mm. really fucking nice i don't know if the quality is like that across the board or if it was that quads, just a particular one yeah or knows? if it was just that particular one but yeah i was impressed i feel like they might be upping the quality in those because they're not like significantly cheaper than their sort of like nine pan yes, or like that's 14 right. or 16 pan palette. So I feel like yeah. they've got to up the quality somewhere. Um, but mm. they do also have a quad eyeshadow vault. Again, these are like mm -hmm. new shades. There's the cream gel liner vault, the color stick sticks vault. Uh, and there's two sort of color varieties there, a nude and vibrant Thing. Then with Fourth Ray Beauty, there's a few lip care kits with I, which I think come in different scents. There's three available. Mm -hmm. There's a Face Milk Mini Set and the Lip Love Lip Set. Soul Body, they've got Body Scrub and Creme Kit, and that's in a couple of different scents. And there's also the Bath Sesh Mood Melt Set. They all look nice, I, but it's it's just yeah, like a lot. It's, it's a stuff. lot. It's a yeah. lot of stuff. I I think these are great, like for gifting. Like if I was yes. gonna. 
buy a makeup lover or a beauty lover something like this. And I'm not talking about our age. I'm talking about younger people. These make good sets, especially like the body set and the bath and the and the lip balm, Just like that stuff. strawberry one, yeah. I totally get that strawberry yeah. lip scrub. Or if you've balm. got like a, you know, a niece who has just declared her obsession for makeup, buy her a little eyeshadow vault. Yeah. Like they're not expensive and they'll go gaga over it. So not only do we have the packs from ColourPop, but there's also their holiday collection. It's a Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer collection. So yeah. in the collection, there's a Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer palette, the Rudolph Lippy Scrub Ornament and Lipstick Duo, the Clarice Fourth Ray Beauty Lip Mask Ornament and Lipstick Duo, a couple of Misfits Luxe Gloss Trio, Ick, I hate those, Soul Body Jingle 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 <laughs> Shimmering Body Powder, and lastly, there's the Humble Bumble Soul Body Mega Mood Melt. So that is available now. It's very Christmassy. The palette has a pop of green, a pop of red, and the rest is brown. There we go. Man, I wish I liked green eyeshadow because I would buy that palette. I actually, I like it. And it's really, I love Rudolph. No, I think it's... I, I love Rudolph. I, I feel like this is sort of getting into kids' makeup territory. It is very kids' makeup. Yeah. It is, it's absolutely. Not, not for me. Not for me. Okay, we've seen House Labs, um, Casa... Gaga collection. So this is uh, their holiday collection. There is the Tutti Gel Powder All Over Rouge. This comes in four shades. Uh, these look pretty cool, actually. I don't. I like. They this look collection. high end. They do. This looks like Tom Ford, and I'm here yeah. for it. <laughs> Tom I, Ford. I'd... Tom Ford mixed with like Pat McGrath. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, fair. I would agree with that. There's also the Tutti Gel Powder Highlighter. So this comes in one shade. It's a bronzed gold and it's beautiful. Then there's the Italian Glam Highlighter Brush. So this is a single brush for highlighting. There is the Limited Edition Liquid Eye Liner uh, in La Vita Punk, which is their signature jet black. So this is the product. They have this in their range always but this one's in limited edition packaging with the gold, gold packaging. festive yep. packaging and then they have la source lip glaze this comes in three shades it appears that that is a lip gloss and they all have a sparkle finish then we have the uh, tanti bachi extreme cream mini lipstick set this comes with five mini lipsticks and they're cute as a button and then you can get the whole collection with the vegan leather train case 198 us dollars look i don't i, I don't hate this What's i am loving the look of that intense coral blush like yeah. it screams to me. Yeah. I want to put it on my face and see what it looks like. I also want to see swatches of those sparkly lip glosses because I'm not a yeah. fan of like sparkly metallic lips at all. But a, no, no. a gloss with sparkle in it can look can gorgeous. Can sometimes look nice. Yeah, you're right. It can. It can look really nice. I think this, um, she's up the game. This actually looks like, okay, I don't think this looks like Lady Gaga. But I think this looks way better than what House Labs has done in yeah. a long time. Oh, the blushes are little. They're little. Oh, the lipsticks are so cute. I found a video, guys. I'm just, like, drooling over it. But the blushes are, like, oh, they look like they're only about this big. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I the actual you. pan. Okay, I... I understand that it looks special and it does have a holiday vibe to it with the gold... Um, and there's yep. like red accents in the products. Um, mm -hmm. But I would like to see this as being like more permanent, to be honest. Yeah, I I'm actually, I have to agree with you. If I didn't have 60,000 blushes already, I'd buy one of those blushes to try. Mm. I would. I That's think true. they look really nice. All right. So we've got Melt's holiday collection here. Um, this is inspired by the comforting memories that you find after grieving a loved one lost it's supposed to remind you of like the brightness and the vibrancy of life 
basically. So there's a pressed pigment palette with 20 shades in it. There's a blush palette with six shades. There's ultra matte lipsticks in three shades, glitter lipsticks in two shades. Uh, then we have the Perfectionist Lip Pencils. There's three of those and you can buy them individually or as a set. Then we have uh, the gel liners in two shades, a pigment paint in one shade, a hand mirror, and there's a face and eye brush set and then you can get it in like all different other sets as well. The sort of teal colored shimmery eyeliner looks gorgeous and mm. the palette swatched, okay it's probably very photoshopped, but the palette swatched on the arms, I can really see a nice sort of vibe going along here. Um, mm. So I think there's some cool elements to it. I'm really interested to see reviews. I think this could go either way. It could be a really successful, great collection that people talk about for years, um, mm. or it could be a little bit forgettable. Okay, it's time for collabs, and we're going to run through these quickly. Like we said, we're sick of them. Mm -hmm. Sick of them. Although this one's cute. Not too bad. It's cute. This is from Alamar Cosmetics. It's with the new Disney movie Encanto. Um, so this consists of an eyeshadow palette. It's a 10 pan eyeshadow palette. Lots of textures, which is really fun. Um, there is a holographic high shine highlighter, two new colorette powder blushes, two new longwear lip glosses, two new longwear lip liners, the Spread Your Wing Liquid Liners in two shades, a complexion brush duo, an eye brush trio, and a handheld mirror. Um, I think this looks cute. I like the colours. It's pretty, but it makes me more want to see the Disney movie than buy the makeup. Yeah, well, I didn't even know there was a new Disney movie coming out, so I feel like Neither this is I. informing me of that, <laughs> um, which is nice to know. Uh, I think yeah. it's cute. I like the colour story. I, yeah, it's mm. not something that I'm lusting after, but I feel like it's a nice little capsule collection. Whether yeah. it was a collaboration or not, I think it it's it, the colours and the design look nice. So yeah, I yeah. like it. All right, ColourPop have a few collaborations. We're gonna just talk about one really quickly. Um, this is a second round of their Mandalorian uh, collaboration. Last year they did it with um, The Child, which came out to yes. have a name. I forgot the name, I watched the series, but I forgot because I'm really bad with my memory these days. <laughs> um, but this year they brought out the Mandalorian palette that's themed around the Mandalorian. Um, there's also the Lux Lip Oil Duo, um, Grogu, that was the name of the thing. There we go. One's oh. called Grogu. Um, anyway, then there's a hand mirror and a cosmetics bag. Now, I actually don't mind the look of this Mandalorian nine pan palette. It's very cool toned, but there's like a mm. yellow, a peachy color. And in the middle, it looks like there's a duochrome. Oh, so nice. the ch the child one was very green, and the Mandalorian mm. one is quite silver brown, uh, yeah, which cool tone, which yeah. suits yeah, yeah. the character. So yeah, if yeah. you are still on the Mandalorian train and you just didn't like it for the meme, um, there there's more. We have another Disney collab here. It's with Makeup Eraser. And... I hate it, but I don't hate it. I hate myself for <gasps> yeah, not Yeah, I know. It. Like, Disney have always hoard themselves out with this sort mm -hmm. of stuff. But some people are going to love this. So, essentially what it is, is a seven-day set of mini makeup erasers. But they've got Disney princesses and Disney villains. Um, it's cute. I feel like the price is quite reasonable as well. $25 US a set. Look, I would uh, use I don't the hate it. princess during the day and the villains at night because that would be where oh. all my mascara and stuff's coming off. And they're all dark. Yeah, and so they're dark. Yeah, yeah. Oh, mate. <laughs> Suddenly you need both sets. <laughs> I know. And we understand. Like, I know. Look, yeah, yeah, look, yeah. I, I don't like these things. Yes, they work I to some extent, yeah. but I don't feel like they're very good at re like removing makeup. But I've come yep. around to not minding these products if you use them with micellar water as like a clear yes. step. I think they work yep. fairly well. Mm -hmm. I 
if I saw this just in store on a whim, I'd be You'd like, buy it? yeah, yeah, I wouldn't go out of my way to order it, but I'd be like, yes, I want yeah, yeah, Ariel yeah. all over my fair. face. Talking about second round of collaborations, we've seen the second Morphe and Pony collection. We saw one mm. a couple of years ago. It was a big pastel palette. It was, from what I saw in terms of review, it was globally canned as being a shit palette. Yes, but it, it must was. have sold very well because there's a round two. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is the Constellation Sky Artistry palette. It's 36 US dollars. It's supposed to be multi-purpose, multi-dimensional for your eyes and face in dreamy mattes and out of this world metallics to blush, highlight, bronze and more. Um, whatever. There's also a lip trio, 20 bucks. Yeah. Um, and a face and body sticker pack, $7. Um, this palette, I feel like I've seen it a thousand chains. times. I yeah. know. There's like warm shades, pink shades, some mauve shades, shades, and purple some shades, blue. cool yeah. tones. Like, this, yeah, I know. at least the pastel and one. PH, yeah. PH oh, with trio. Hooray. Give it to me. Um, I feel like at least the first one, even though it ended up being shitty quality, which was easy to see was going to happen because it's pastel and mm. it's cheap as chips morphe and pastels yeah. to get them right you need to put a lot of pigment oh in yeah it's quite yeah. costly um so even though that was not the best quality at least it stood out as being very unique from the morphe range this this one yeah. does not this is this is just no. the, the cash grab the last collection that we're going to talk about is from nyx it's in collaboration with money heist which is the netflix tv series um so this consists of a 32 pan mask color palette uh there's a nine pan palette as well we have a gold bar highlighter uh it appears that there might be a few of those yeah i think there's two there's a rose gold okay. and a gold and a gold then there's a gold bar brush paper lipsticks the mask mirror and the epic ink liner um it's available now at ulta beauty i don't know if it's available at nyx as well but there we go look the thing is i don't mind the colors in this palette i think there's some really mm. nice colors in here i i didn't even know this was a tv show so i have no frame of reference to what this is i feel like i'm in the yeah. dark um and i feel like we've seen this gold bar highlighter what brand did the gold bar highlighter was really popular years ago Charlotte Tilbury. Oh, yeah, it was Charlotte Tilbury. Yeah, Charlotte Tilbury did one a few years ago that, like, everyone was talking about. It was in, like, cardboard packaging, which this is as yeah. well. Looked like a and gold bar. And then they bar. did a, a palette. Then they brought a out a palette. palette. Yeah, they yeah. sort of milked it a bit, and then other brands yeah. were sort of copying it. Um, mm-hmm. And it's back in this. So it for is. me, I'm just like, this This doesn't interest me. doesn't but... do it for me. All right, guys, so that is it for the November episode of Beauty News. We are going to give you guys a little emoji riddle. So, yes. riddle me this. Sponge? Yes. Person with a crown, because I don't want to describe <laughs> what it is, because it will make it too obvious. And then a person yes. with a mask. <laughs> there we go. Tell us what that is referring to. Yeah, and it looks like know. it could be a superhero, but when you search villain, For what that is. that's what comes up. So it's a, it's a villain. If you're mega confused, you could also do like the the devil face, the purple devil, smiling cheeky devil. Now I'm confused. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, I think it's bedtime, guys. I agree. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Beauty News. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and we will catch you in the next one. Bye. Bye.